Part to your man here, live on Greatness 99 Questions with the 99 answers. Wicked. We don't scroll and pass, so we don't want tap. Alright, so what's your real name and stage name? My real name is Muntari Patrick Nati. Yeah, man. And my stage name is Party a Man. Yeah, man. Wicked. How did you get into making music? So, it was a very easy process for me. I was just writing music. I used to write a lot. I trust you on you, but it was, it was difficult for me to let it out, to let people know that this is what I do. So, it took a very big push from Alasa Nasiru. Yeah, double. So, that guy really gave me the biggest push to start doing music. It was like back in secondary school, there was this entertainment, you know. He's, he's known me that I had a rap for so long, but I know really the show. So, could you mic by I see make a rap and things right from there? And that was how it happened. I started doing music, I went to the studio, started recording. The first time I recorded was in 2020. So, I just did it and I put it out. That was how I started doing music. It was simple as that. What or who inspires you? Um, what inspires me is. The people who support me, they really they inspire me a lot. It makes me feel like even if the whole world doesn't care, so me, me be me Spotify and I mean who say one person, like monthly listener, one. That person is there. That person is there to listen to me. So why not do music for that person? Exactly. So that is what inspires me. The few people around me where they, they support, they really they push that thing. I can't let them down. And then musically, Ice Cube, Toy Boy, biggest inspiration. You know, are they are they are they are they admire these two people a lot. Yeah. Where are you from? I'm from the west coast on an east coast or the west coast of Africa. Shit is so nice out here. It's up to you to figure it out, bro. But I'm from Ningo. Yeah. West side boy, coastal area. Very cool. We we the do I'm different. Celebrity crash. <laughs> Caramel. There's this Nigerian I don't know if she be blogger or what. Like she's she's them one of them influencers, so called influencers. But she's a very beautiful young lady. I like her so much. Caramel. I have a crush on her. I've had a crush on her for so long, like years. Maybe do this one, she go see me and I don't know. Nobody knows what can happen. Have you ever experienced true love and from who? Oh, I've experienced. I don't. <laughs> You go cut this thing, right? You go cut this side. This, this, this more. <laughs> you do have your heart love, you know. Have you have you ever experienced true love and from who? Um, I, yeah, yeah, I've experienced it before from someone, some some random girl. K K flip. <laughs> experience true love from K flip. Your high school memories. Uh, sometimes then we go. Inter schools for for concert with Charlie. Fight happen. The boys say, Oh, like we will go ourselves for where the boys say, Make we return. Them yes, he squad they beat our school. So make we return, go do the fight. So many yes, are it's like we sell out. So make we return, go face the fight. I say, Joe, make we go. Joe say, Oh, Charlie, no, your car boys in the house, I lose. I say, Say, Chick corner, your car fights, maybe. And you know, if you abandon the boys like that. So we return, say, we will go do the fight. So me like this bro i follow my man say we they go do the fight so yeah car for the bush inside charlie could see from the school they come meet you i'll be them here say we they come back we everybody scatter for the bush but we ran me that day we man who inside a jump and tell joe you know that story high school don bosco don bosco technical institute for simon how many songs have you released so far i have four songs out and, and i have yeah four songs out and a tape a four track tape so collectively i'll say eight songs out there yeah out on all platforms i go feel name all but it's, it's the assignments make people go check them out party yeah, man everywhere if you could date any other musician who would it be and why if you are if you are if you are the, the, the if you are we all know the real if you are if you are about to be sacred them if you are yeah that, that woman that lady and i'll date her because I feel she's very good. So if me and if you are dating, you see the kind of backings if you are the lay on rappers, them are them are verses for them like 
and then at the end she could do some like what she did on Omar Sterling's Temamoto Way Freestyle, something like that. Me and if y'all wake up and do that at home every day, that's why I'll get it. <laughs> if you could have dinner with a famous person, living or dead, oh Gaddafi. Gaddafi, Charlie, yeah, like this guy. I don't know, them kill him too early. Because Gaddafi wanted to make Africa heaven and all he needed was people to support him. And I don't know why African leaders sat down and and them them sit down with and watch make people just come. This why people just come carry Gaddafi out of out of Africa. You know. The 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 visionary leaders Africa had. You know, Mandela them them be free top, uh, freedom fighters, but Gaddafi them be developmental leaders. Gaddafi and Kuma them, so Charlie. I would have loved to have a uh, dinner with Gaddafi just for him to tell me his plans. Then, if I go feel implement them, I go do. If not, make everybody, each, everyone, uh, each man for himself, God for us all. If you did not become a musician, what would you be doing right now? Well, most definitely, I'm a technical person and I'm, that's what I'm doing now. So, if music no no far, I get plan B. Definitely, that'd be what I would do. I'll be a mechanic. If you could play any venue in the world, what would it be? All the big venues in the world, people play them already. If I honestly, if I could play any venue in the world, it would be home, Ghana. Maybe I could buy some, some five hundred acres of land, play my own show for them, make people come. That'd be what I would like to do. Seriously, O2 Madison, in Kofwa did that. You understand? Lucky to be them field stadiums, Shatawale field stadiums. It's, it's done. The whole world see that thing already. I would like to buy big land. Then I host my own big show. No seats. Make the people come stand. 500 acres. Make we fill the whole land. Yeah. If we come together, we really go feed do our moon. As I see the and talk crowd, we go feed go rent some plots. Take do. Ever clear forest be been in here. Was there ever a time when you thought about quitting music? Yeah, there were so many times. Like so many times. Very on and off with this thing. I don't know, but it be the system. One year steady, the system go feel break you. So I've I've thought of quitting music so many times, but I I'll definitely think of it so many times, but I'll never do that because why? Why would I? What are you working? What are you working on musically right now? Musically, I'm working on. I'm still trying to. I know my sound right now, but I'm still trying to better my sound. I'm not satisfied with what I'm doing right now, so. I've, I've seen that I've made a lot of progress from when I started making music. So I think the most important thing to me is making some progress. So that'll be what I work on musically. I want to be better than I am. What can fans expect from you? Plenty wickedness. Wickedness in abundance. That's all. That's what they can expect from me. And good music. I promise to always give you good music. What do you think makes your music unique? What makes my music unique is the fact that are they motivate every single time I touch the mic is is it be calculated efforts like I they do I'm cautiously I know what I'm doing it took me so long to be able to start doing music because I'm the type of person who listens to what people have to say so much I care about what people have to say so suddenly come it made me it made me it made me like I don't know that thing intimidates me I intimidated myself and they make her feel like no me cannot do this and at some point some friends had to come in and my own my own self I had to make it happen so I they feel like there are so many people who can do so many things but all they needed someone to push them so aside the fact that I they motivating my music there are friends where I go feel call them like yo Charlie you know say you go feel do this thing you you, you started do them already you do them like this you go do them it, it doesn't it doesn't hurt to and say she you go feel just Oh, you day online, you scroll, you see somebody for IG on Twitter, you go feel just big up, just that, it will help them. So let's all try as much to do that. What has been your favorite performance or tour so far? 17 tape listening party. Then I had released a tape that same day. The tape dropped in the morning. We do the show back here, then people they sing the songs, and I was surprised. It was it was love. That be organic love. You understand? Zamani they tell me say Charlie the the uh, Mark ten song. You know they understand how we release the song morning way boys they sing. It, it be love. It means say they really they pay attention to that thing. But we go feel still do more. Could do more. What is the best thing about being a musician? 
best thing about being a musician is the fact that I I'm able to express I'm able to express myself, you know. Sometimes I send you a while you won't talk her, it's like you, you should as a as a man you should be too hard to say this, but if you take past music inside and it's like it's just art you can get away with it easily yeah that and the fact that i can also inspire people just through words on beats is, is amazing so that's the best thing about being a musician to me what is the most difficult thing about being a musician the fact that people think you are a rascal here in ghana i know they i know they understand why some people just some people they will because then they go to church then feel say if you do music, you get a right to come to come at you like yo only bon sam ne or some of them things. Oh boys really they do that like obi wa wa no cross or evangel or yeah evangelism one or two. We we know you, we they see you, but because you they go church, you get rights to come at us like yo Charlie, because you are doing music, cut your hair gently. Yeah, you manifest is also an artist. You get clean cut. No, that's manifest. You chose to be a preacher. I chose to be a preacher on beat. So my message is different. Everyone can preach the Bible. Someone has to preach reality of life. What is your biggest fear? My biggest fear would have to be how I'll die. Because sometimes I really they think about that and they, they stress me out. Like how I could die then maybe some difficult death. Oh Charlie, I would like that easy. Like some simple death. I don't want to tire before I could die um biggest regret biggest regret would have to be me not me not starting music on time i should have i should have just went straight for it if i know say the time then i the write music way i know they put them out and things if i know say at the end of the day i really go come do this thing full time like i will start earlier you know anchor if i had started doing music earlier i would have been 10 years this year but i wasted all the time thinking about what people had to say what song was the most difficult for you to write? Life at 17. I won't say it was it was not exactly difficult, but I didn't want to I didn't want to force it. I wanted it to happen naturally. So it took about four years to uh, no not four years, about three years to completely finish that song. I wrote I started writing that song somewhere in 2019, 2020, then I I dropped them, um, came to make some edits took out some things and added some things, update the story and things, so, yeah. What's one of the, the most fun childhood memories? Childhood memories, I don't, I don't really go carry any fun childhood memory, but there were so many, well, maybe climbing trees, going to play and coming back home tired, you can't take some small canes and you have to go back and do it again. <laughs> what's your favorite food of all time jollof charlie jollof the one way water go inside where you know they and you back back on a bond properly that kind of jollof charlie then some beef there inside bro what's your favorite movie to watch over and over again the last ship tv series um Am uh, american navy intelligence movie be the, uh, the the last ship those kind of movies, they watch how they, they widen your scope. Um, it be your dream, it expose you to so much. You get to learn a lot. What's your level of education and which school? Level of education, uh, TVET, or how did it, yeah. Don Bosco. But currently, I'm still schooling. I'm not done yet, so. Accra Technical University, Mechanical Engineering. What's a bad habit you have overcome? A bad habit I've overcome. I don't think it's, 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 it's a bad habit, but maybe it was bad. I I used to not feel so confident about myself, but now I feel a little more confident about myself. So right now I feel so independent. I feel so open to the world. I feel like I can do anything I want to do, anything that I should do. And nobody can stop me. I can't stop myself. So that was a, that was a habit. I used to stop myself from doing so many things, but right now there's, the freedom is there. That's what 17 stands for freedom. You need to be able to be to free yourself first. No one will free you if you don't free yourself. What's one thing your mom or dad don't understand about you? They don't understand the whole me. 
um like i said i used to be this very cool kid calm boy i listen to everybody do this and i do it but right now i'm growing and i'm objecting to some things so they don't understand the whole being and it's, it's fair it's not their fault it's not my fault they should understand that growth brings so many misunderstandings and if they should adapt to the growth it would be it would be peaceful for all of us so my parents don't understand the whole me it's not just a part of me then this is the whole me what's the worst lie you've ever told as a kid i don't lie i won't say i don't lie at all but i don't really they lie like that some small small lies we oh charlie you call me say where are they oh maybe a day house where i could tell you say i know day house and those kind of lies i feel they get away with them but i know really they lie like that so i can't really remember any me and my kid the time then i go do something then go can't ask me say if you do i'm going to talk say yes then go tell me say a fool make i go bring king i will go bring the king then go last me again Charlie. so i've been honest like that what's your biggest fear when it comes to relationships being played i'm so afraid of being played say i could take you very serious and at the end of the day you're just playing me and i'd never know you are playing me some people are very good at acting it will make you believe say in my day for you but then they play that's my biggest fear when it comes to this whole thing what's your biggest turn off in a woman yeah so my biggest fear is being played my biggest turn off definitely could be you lying to me or you playing me so if you're a woman and you're trying to play me like you have to just tell me the truth i'll take the truth for what it is but if you are trying to maybe protect me from the truth or anything, I want the truth. If it hurts, I'll respect you for telling me the truth. What's your favorite song to sing in the shower? Mikai said, Mara, me sing me now for four, send me the gun, I back up, baby. Yeah. Mikai, I'm down for be your friend, call me Bwedi. That song, Sack of Your Glory, featuring Young Girl. That song is so inspirational. That'd be one of the songs where I really did listen a lot. I did play them back to back, back to back. So anytime I want to sing something, once any part, I told you, oh, music just they calm your mind and you, you just start singing. Anytime I want to sing something, that is what comes to mind first. And that song, it, it kind of like tells my story. So I just hope that, that where the song was built from to the destination circle there took the story to, we all go grow from that to that particular destination. When did you start taking music seriously last year i started doing music as a musician in 2020 but i started taking music seriously late last year so yeah that that's how it is i i, I just don't know why i i didn't take music so seriously but now i'm, I'm back in it back for good when will your next song be released my next song will be released very soon and it all depends on the reception. You people, your reception to the 17th tape, we will go determine when the next one go, go drop. So if the 17th tape they do well, I'll I go you go ginger me to drop the next one. But definitely something they come very soon. I make you expect them. Um, which who do they represent? Are they represent Tema. You know be the regular Tema, where all the boys from. Are they represent Tema, the countryside of Tema, community 24, Tema West that'd be like some new coded community for i mean some respectable people like myself yeah tema west side which song from your from you is your personal favorite and why all the songs i ever do never lose track three on the 17th day be my be my personal favorite i don't know why it's between life at 17 and never lose but i feel like never lose is my personal favorite i like that song so much because it speaks about uh, you you'd have to listen to the song there's especially the second verse of it to understand where i'm coming from because music is something we all they do other boys are invested in some other stuff that if we also invest in we, we probably go film a camp but here's the system the Ghanaian system will break you as an artist before you break the system so if you are not careful you go you go feel charlie over here in june 10 15 years you know go blow you know go get anything too so I just hope I never lose and I'm working hard to never lose. That is it. Why who are your best friends? My best friends. I have so many good friends. So if I should list one person right now, I go I go sell out so many other people. So all my best friends are my best friends. All my good friends are my best friends and they don't understand this. They know why. We are good friends. Ain't nobody the best. 
who in your family are you closest to not really close to anybody in my family not for any bad reason but the closest is the, the if i mean the, the person i'm closest to in that sense is my little brother raymond yeah who would you most who would you most like to collaborate with um toy boy definitely and maybe ice cube but there's a, a long list of people i want to collaborate with if i want to mention all their names we, we probably never finish but i would like to collaborate with anybody way they do good music that is it if anybody there's anybody doing good music me i'll be very music is you know music is very addictive music they pick me if i if i reach some place where good music day there i will feel just i will feel just leave us for them and i will go house forget say i come leave us for yourself oh, anywhere i go reach good music day i will do some bro do you have any advice for aspiring musicians you just have to be you you just have to do the music like in the film make nobody tell you say if you do the music like this you know go blow make you too you know try go copy anybody and start too much make it be obvious say you don't want to be like this person try build your style you know this is what some this is what someone someone did for me so it's just right to do for others if you do music you just have to try to let people know you for who you are don't let people know you for who someone is understand and then do the music freely and more beyond say and jim where we are in blow there are things you could do to to be heard but say you go blow you know really get formula just do the music right push it right if you go blow you go blow you understand so just do music freely it's art create from your, your bottom of bottom create from within shout out to shout out to man like search you've been holding niggas down for years and for sure all this blood and tears you know go go wasted you know the conversations a bit deep bro you, you know go, go wasted a jumana the work boys do pass oh if god make you go wasted and into you know try so for for sure definitely it will happen every time and work you put in the work it will happen so this is great next 99 questions and i just gave the 99 answers party amen wickedness in abundance we're out we don't scroll and pass so we don't tap